Tammy S. Schondelmeyer took an indirect route to a four-year softball career, which included a national championship and ultimately a plaque on the wall of the E-Club Hall of Fame. Tammy did not anticipate playing college softball, but was recruited off the flag football field in the fall of her freshman year. She began her softball career in the outfield, but was moved to shortstop on the spring trip that first season. She could not be moved out of that position for the next four years. A member of four straight regional championship teams and the 1986 national titleist, Tammy made 153 of her 165 career starts at shortstop, departing the program as the all-time leader in assists. The New London native started 27 games at shortstop as a freshman and played perfect defense at NCAA postseason play as the Warriors repeated as national champions. All of Tammy's starts over the final three seasons of her career were at shortstop, including the final 100. During her senior season, Tammy hit safely in 18 straight games, a record that still stands today, and was named to the all-tournament team at the national tournament. Tammy, how are you? Coach Washburn, your old coach. Now you're really old coach. I'm here to congratulate you on your acceptance into the Eastern Connecticut State University Hall of Fame. Your statistics say something about your performance as an athlete. The immeasurables are the things that I really remember about you and your teammates also, Tam. You had a joviality, an enthusiasm, and you could sing, and you could play. Could you play? Yes, you could. Did you know that I sat in comfort on the bucket in the dugout when the opposition got people on base and we were in a pressure cooker situation? I said unto myself, self, I hope, I really do hope, that they hit the ball toward our shortstop. Because Tammy was the automatic out. Pick him up, throw him out, make simple plays all the time, make a great play every now and then. Then on our many journeys in our vans, you were there looking over the flock by keeping me awake. And you could sing, oh, could you sing. Someday we gotta make that recording together. The Rose. You added so much, so very much to our lives as a team. The joy of coaching you and knowing your family uh, just filled me, filled me emotionally. And uh, damn, I should have been paying you to be on our ball club. Timmy wasn't really recruited to play softball at Eastern. And my recollection was she was on the flag football, on the flag football field and was playing a game against the softball players. And Coach Anderson saw her play and said that we needed to get her on the team because she was so athletic, she was fast, she was strong, um, and he felt that it would be a great fit for her and for the program to have her on the softball field. So she started to play and has started every game or almost every game of her career. And it was more attributed to playing um, as an athlete, not just a softball player. And if you know Tammy, she's gonna be competitive at anything she does, but she is the nicest person and a team player and you will get everything that you can out of her and she just, is a great leader as well, and that's why we are so successful. Hi, this is Cynthia Washburn. Tammy Shondemeyer, I'm so happy for you on this very special day. Being inducted in the Hall of Fame is quite an honor, and you are a most deserving recipient. I would have to say you are probably the best infielder to wear an Eastern uniform, with the exception of that left-handed first baseman. Congratulations, Tammy, and oh, one last piece of advice, when you speak, Please keep it short. You're the best, Tammy. Congratulations. As an athlete, I believe she was just, uh, you know, remembering back, very raw athlete um, from the standpoint of, you know, she didn't always necessarily do everything fundamentally correct or, or came in that way. Um, she worked very hard to, to work on all those things, but she just had such speed and, and power and strength and she could, um, 
you know, make a play and throw somebody out where other people couldn't do that. One of the big things I remember was she used to just work on her backhand a lot because from a technical sense, fundamental sense, she just struggled with the, the, being technically correct with her backhand. And then her senior year, I remember her making a play um, and just being so excited because she had done it correctly. Not that she didn't make backhanded plays, but that she had fundamentally done it correctly. And now, you know, all those years of, of working on her backhand paid off um, by being able to do it, you know, the right way. It is my pleasure at this time to present to you for induction into the 2009 E-Club Hall of Fame, Tammy S. Chandelmeyer. <laughs>